and welcome to the MBS show. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Starstream. Hello, Norman. How have you been this week? I'm fine, thank you. I'm fine, thank you. So, what about you, my friend? Good. It's been the same every time. Uh, I say that. <laughs> alright, then. Alright, then. So, anyway, um, this week has been... I don't know, a bit slow when you think about it, like nothing much. Um, last week was the premiere of the season 7, and that's been fun. Um, I think this is the first time that the premiere didn't have a two-parter, so that's interesting to see. Yes, I agree. Well, it feels like the second episode was the idiom. Uh, true, I mean, but still, it, it was fun, it was fun. Um, more on those discussions when I review the episodes. But anywho, um... How have you been, man? Like, uh, last, I think last two weeks ago, you were at Typhonicon? Yes, I was at Typhonicon. It was great. Well, other than the fact that I couldn't understand, I think about 70-80% of the convention, <laughs> but overall, it's still fun. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. That, that sounds like a woozy. Uh, let's just hope that uh, Ciponicon doesn't uh, throw us for a loop. Nah, Ciponicon will be fine because... The organizer for Thai Ponycon has told me that, oh, the convention is supposed to be for Thai, and that's why they don't make it like very big like last year, where they have both Thai and English. So they just do a something like a, their own local convention kind of thing, and then it's all leave it to uh, what you call it, Saint Pinky to do the Sea Ponycon in August. Ah, I see, I see. All right, all right. Well, um, at least. Then we'll have his moment in the sun when Siponicon arrives. Yeah, I, I can't wait because international convention and I can't wait to see everyone again. Well, you did wait for your first international convention. Uh, which one? Siponicon, yes. Uh, it's a local convention for them, but <laughs> international for me. Yeah, so that, that's a big difference there. Well, international is in like, we get to see all the, you know, the Westerns, I, Westerners, or I don't know, uh, Europeans, Australians, they all come, well, we'll come see. to the convention, man. We'll, we'll see how Siponicon does. I mean, if there's the next one, probably we'll get more. If not, then, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, um, I think let's jump into the news. Yes, you own a car, right? Well, it's a family car, but I'm using it to drive to work. And I have a car too. Um, have you ever wished to put ponies on it? Yeah, I kind of do. But, well, it's a family kind of car, so yeah. it's not going to be easy. <laughs> not true, that. Uh, I, I think the only easier, easy way to do this is just to put some window stickers on the car. And, well, if you don't like it, you can just easily peel it off. I mean, those easy to put on and pull off car decals, those are fun. yeah. Yeah, those are fun. Unless once the sun dries it up, then you're going to have even more fun removing it. If you choose to remove it, that is. Yeah, true, true. But in all honesty, um, a company called Alter Ego has made a bunch of pony stickers and they're officially licensed by Hasbro. So um, looking through the site, they have a lot of these stickers that you put on the windows and stuff. And from what I look at their website, they've not only done ponies, they also have Transformers, Family Guy, and DC superhero to Marvel superhero. So there's a lot of stickers that they do. And looking at the stickers, they go from $6 to $22. And all this can be placed on your car or windows. So yay. It looks great. I feel like the company has a nice name. Wonder why they call it Alter Ego. I wonder if they choose to like say take over the world with I don't know. Mm, I I don't know because uh here's the thing. I'm looking at their uh website and they're called Elephant Gun. Yeah, but EQD puts it as Alter Ego. Uh yeah, okay. Yeah, that's that's the thing I don't understand. So anyway, um looking at the website, they have a few like they have Muffin Pony, Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash, Digipon Tree, uh, and to the classic G1 ponies, Firefly and Minty, and so on. So this is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know what to say. I wish I can have this and put it on the car window and show my love. Well, you could, to be honest. I mean, you could just go to somewhere and just, 
I don't know, go to any car uh, sticker company and just print that up yourself. Uh, but it's going to cost a lot. Car detail. That's going to cost a lot. Is it? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, like uh, the manufacturing cost, the printing and whatnot, and yeah, sometimes it's not going to be easy. But still, um, this is one way to do it if you're in the States. So, yay, um... Personally, I can't wait to have it here locally if we do have it. If not, I might as well buy it online. So, next on the list is... Cruise ship ponies! Or cruise ship having pony teams. Again, seems like the cruise liner called Carnival Cruise Line has struck a deal with Hasbro. And it seems that they're going to have some kind of... uh, What you might call this... Carnival Playtime for Kids featuring Transformers and My Little Pony. So looking at this, they'll be doing some on the cruise ship activities for children and ponies are involved. So that's going to be cool. Have you ever been on the ship before? No, I actually did, did not. My parents has went, went on it before. Oh, really? No. Oh, well, yeah. um, I haven't been on one myself, but from what I understand and from all the videos or commercials I've seen, it's a pretty fun thing to be on, but honestly, it's like trap on a ship. Hmm, yeah. Well, there's a lot of activity, it's right, but if in the case of, I'm not sure, someone having a seasickness, I don't know. I, I don't think so like this ship is big and getting sick on a big ship like this is not likely i think the only reason why people get sick is because when they look around the horizon the ship's bobbing up and down and then their head's like yeah but yeah let's not think about that so uh, this seems like a cool thing but uh, it's for kids so that means adults probably will not do yeah i wonder if there's any bronies to set to I don't know, ride on the ship and say, you know? Maybe there are some crazy people out there, probably, probably. At least they could dress up as a, what you call it, the pirate or something, and then just go up the ship or something for fun. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, no. uh, but anyway, yeah. talking about vacations and whatnot, so how was the Taiponi con, like the whole experience? How was it? Oh, experience. It's a big convention. I didn't expect there was a lot of uh, people joining it. We were having a lot of fun, to be honest. Like, a lot of fun. Like, there was a lot of events, but like I said, a lot of the times we didn't even understand. I mean, yeah, we didn't understand the convention. So, but good thing we have some, some, uh, some friends there who help us translate certain things. So that's good. That is awesome. That is awesome. So, uh, how was everything? Like, um, do you seen the whole location, right? And whatnot? Like, How's the whole experience? I mean, I, I've never been to Thailand before. So, what was the attraction for you to go there? Well, there was actually three main reasons that I could think of. One was to get familiarized with my uh, the areas so that in the event that we, on the August, would be easier for me to travel. To, so, I don't need to worry about, oh, like, I don't know this and this kind of stuff. So, it makes it easier. And then, my second reason is to that just want to see everyone again and also to meet new friends at the convention. Sounds fun. Sounds fun. Awesome. Well, at least I go with uh, Charlie and Daniel. And that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Maybe a lot of fun. And also one friend of mine that came, uh, that I met at the Friendship Express. And... With Sunny, right? Uh, yeah, Sunny. Uh, Montree Griffith. Yeah, Montree. Uh, he go by Period MG on DeviantArt. And he helped us guide us around. He's also our translator at the com- at the Convention. event. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah I, he's there. he help us. I need my personal translator. Dang. But it's really a lot, a lot different though. I I hear from uh, Charlie and Daniel. They say oh. that oh, it's a big difference. I mean, because now we got a translator like who can speak uh, good English and can translate. Back to Thai, <laughs> so it's it's very helpful. Uh, but wait, uh, if I do remember right, like you mentioned earlier, uh, this Thai pony con was all in Thai, while the previous yes. one were a mix of both. Yes, it was a mix of both actually. Yeah, so uh, I wonder how is it for those two. I mean, for you, like you mentioned, uh, it's a strange 
occurrence to you? Like, it's something new and strange. You haven't been there before, so this is something new for you. But with Dan and Doc, there, there is their second or third time. I, I don't remember. But so they have experience with the previous one. I, I wonder how was it for them? Like, for them, it was just like the same, I think. Yeah, probably. They seen the biggest one, so yeah, yeah, yeah. this convention in I don't know, just to look around, I guess. Probably. So wait, um, is Siponicon going to be held at the same place where Typonicon is? No, uh, that would be the Typonicon last year's place, which is the Prince Vibat Hall. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> not not the this year's uh, convention, which has the uh, what you call it, the. Bangkok Art and Culture Center. Oh wow! Okay, which, okay. Which is next to the Siam Discovery Center, which is pretty much on the city area, where you can just go very close by to the Siam Paragon. Cool. The, the location sounds awesome. And by the way, um, how is food? Like, I I know that people. Uh, well, I won't say people. Like, people. Uh, most. Uh, fans of the show would know me for my love of food on the Instagram and whatnot. So, how's the food for Thailand? Well, for for me, it's very easy because I could eat anything. So, I seen a lot of street food. That that was a lot of fun. Oh yeah, yeah. Especially like, well, because I it lives in a what you call it Islamic country. Yeah. So, having certain food. Like not there, ain't that easy also. But it's a lot of fun when you just walk around the street food and l- look around, and then suddenly you see a hawker selling like what you call it, pork the bun, non, yeah, yeah, pork, pork satay, and all this. I was like, I was, I was screaming right, when I saw it the first time. I was like, oh my god! I was like, oh my god! It's a freaking satay, and it's like, oh man! I was like, oh, it was really shocking. Oh man! So imagine like. Because we live like, uh, well, it's about 10, 10 minute walk away from the MRT station. So part of it, when we walk down into the, to go to our place, uh, we had to pass by some of the street food. So we got them while on the way. Nice, nice. <laughs> but I heard that, um, I think Thailand might be closing down those street hawker stores or street food stores, something like that. That's why I read yeah. somewhere. Yes, I read it also. I thought they said they're going to ban the street food, but actually, no. That wasn't the case. It's just that they want to make it more safer for visitors because some of the walkways are so narrow, they just put the store there and people had to walk on the road just to reach the stall and it's dangerous for the drivers. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, I understand. Yeah, so dang- yeah. basically, they're just going to... um. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, basically, they're just trying to enhance it, it streamline it. Yes. Yeah, and yes, streamline it, and also to increase the what you call it hygiene. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. food standard. Ah, well, oh, well. So anyway, uh, let's head on to the next news. And well, next news is new information on the first Equestria Girl special. Um, it's going to be released in Poland on May 14. So. This is a bit of a woozy. Um, it seems that Poland will be having the My Little Pony Equestria Girl special first. And I think this is not the first time that Poland got something before um, the US. I just heard from the comments saying that it's the Poland is more famous for the Equestria Girls or something. Really now? I'm not sure. I mean, I'm just reading from the Comments, I mean. The EQD comments then, right? Yeah, someone mentioned it's more pretty popular in Latin America. More popular than regular NLP. Hmm, hmm really now? Okay, that, that is fascinating. Uh, but anywho, um, it seems that, well, even if Poland gets it first, uh, I think the US will get theirs too soon enough, I'm sure. Um, I, I think I... it'll be heading on to Netflix. I'm assuming that is about June or something. I don't remember. I could be wrong. I don't remember. But hey, um, if May 14 comes along and an English version comes out around a week later or at the same time, that'll be cool. Yes. Well, I mean, I have a... I'm just assuming that people would just sub 
type of the whole thing and then just release it on nah, YouTube or something. I, I don't want sub. I want uh Rebecca Shortcut to voice Sunset Man. Like, yeah, that, that's Sunset's voice for me. Like, nah, 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 no, no dubs, man. Well, we are not used to the other country dubs. Yeah, you know what? Funny enough, I listen to Japan version of ponies. It called me Weibo and whatnot, but still, they sound okay. But <laughs> still, English for me. Well, I think it's because we watch too much anime. True. That's, that's why we. That's why we can handle the what you call it, the high pitch, uh, moe sound. <laughs> that's a, what they call it. Probably. That's what the Weibo's call it. Yeah, but anywho, um, on this. First special, the title, well, um, on their website, they call it Magia Tanka, te, te, Tanka? Something like that? Tanka? Or, I, I don't know, I, I don't speak. Magia Tanka or something? Yeah, something Tanka. like that. I, I don't I speak don't Polish. But it seems to be, when translated, it translates to dance magic. And the runtime is about 22 minutes. So, um, yeah, it's true from what we heard from previous news that there's going to be three specials and one special is going to be around the same length of an episode which is 22 minutes so yeah this is uh, correct so dance magic for the first one and we got no idea what's going to be um the rest so so anyway um here's hoping for some amazing and fun episodes to be had and talking about amazing and fun uh, it seems that we'll be getting some my little pony art book coming in august Ooh, i'm really excited for that book yeah but prepare for spoilers yeah. like this is one of those books where i'll be getting it and i won't be opening it till i watch the movie oh it was announced on viz 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 media and it's coming in august if it's almost to the same thing that we got with the my little pony um art book for the episode that'll be cool because in that one we got a lot of info and a lot of background work and stuff and for this one you know what i can't wait i'm gonna buy it like this is one of those books that i will buy and if you take a look see at the eqd page the art for the ponies like especially that twilight in that pose dang it looks good can't wait for the hdness of seeing it <laughs> and the book form we seen from the trailer, but yeah, the trailer didn't better. really good. Yeah, sorry, the trailer, yeah, trailer do, didn't do it justice. It kind of butchered the whole thing. So yeah. sad life. Yeah, I mean, like from all the art that we get to see here, it's really sad that we didn't didn't get a chance to get a really good definition of it on the small screen. But eh, you know what? It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Um, it seems that we'll be getting the book in August. Are you going to get the book? I'm thinking about it, to be honest. I'm thinking about it. Hmm, okay. Well, uh, me too. Um, like I mentioned, I like to buy the books and whatnot. So this is one thing that I will probably buy if I go to any Kinokuniya. So yeah, can't wait, can't wait. Well, I don't have, I don't have Kino here. You don't? Eh, probably uh, if mm. we visit to any Kino in Singapore or Malaysia KL, uh, we probably can buy the book. Who knows? And on to the... Well, sorry? It does say in August. I'm curious is what day in August. Because if it's released in the... What you call it? The first week of August. And if it does come to Kino, we could try get it from the Kino Thailand. Can we? Yes. There is a Kino Kuni in Thailand at the Central World. Yeah. Then they send it... Wait... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now I know what you mean because we'll be visiting, um, Siponi Kino, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Now that makes sense. Now that makes sense. Yes. So, hmm. You know what? I, I'm taking a look, see, and I'm wondering. Yeah, okay. Uh, Viz Media does a lot of things. Like they do, um, DVD, DVD today? No, no, no. Uh, Okay, you know what? I got no idea I mean, what Viz Media does. Well, well, if we get the art book or something uh, during the time when we're at the Sea Pony Con, we could get it signed by someone. <laughs> you know what? That is true. That is true. We could get it uh, signed by Andrew Lipman oh. if it's possible. <laughs> you know, you know. Well, we had to, well, we had to pay for the autograph signature, but 
it's fine, I think. Yeah, I mean, true, true. It's a piece of, it's going to be a piece of history, man. We get a book and then we get the sign. Oh, yeah. True, true. Yeah, you know what? This is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. <laughs> uh, so, uh, buy books. Like, you know what? Uh, probably I should stock up on Flash and Shine Pinkie Pie stuff. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> stuff. I don't need to stock it up because I got my two plushes ready to go. <laughs> and some of my badges. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, you. But anyway, yeah. so, uh, moving on to the next news. Um, and still related to the Pony Movie news. Um, it seems that DJ White Shadow uh, Lady Gaga's recent album producer is possibly working on the Pony movie. Long story short, DJ White Shadow was in an interview and he let it slip that he might be working with the show. I, I don't know to what capacity. It could be rumors. I, I don't know. There's not much to go on here. But it does make me curious why... Like, well, the slip is interesting, to be honest. It is this album producer, but does it gonna be have a bit of a, what you call, Lady Gaga craziness or something? Or is it, could it be linked to Sia instead? Probably that, but I, I don't know. Here's the thing, um, the whole scenario here, the whole thing, we got no idea because we got no idea what the extent of this is. Uh, we all know yes. that uh DJ White Shadow here is just mentioned something. I mean, uh, there's no major news. But you know what? Um, we got Daniel Ingram working on this. We got Will Anderson working on this. We got Sia singing something for the show. We got the main six also singing for the show. So you know what? This is going to be a fun uh, movie and album if they do come out. You know what? They're going to make money. They're obviously going to make an album out of this. So that's going to be really awesome and fun. Can't wait, to be honest. I really can't wait. Yeah, it's like, eh, so much, so much. Uh, but damn, Lady Gaga's um, recent album producer on the project, that's going to be interesting. Well, we have like a lot of celebrities on the ship now. Yeah. So I just hope it doesn't get over, I don't know. Too crowded. <laughs> Not too, uh, too crowded and then suddenly ship sinking <laughs> something. I don't know, get capsized or something. Nah, nah, nah. I, I don't think that will happen. I hope. Nah. No, to be honest, after seeing it myself, no. I doubt it. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, you know what? Uh, that's for later when we look at it and talk about it. But anyway, uh, that's the news for this week. That's the news for this week. So, anywho, let's move on to the next segment, which is what has we what have we been doing with our week? And uh, Star, what have you been doing with your week, man? I just got back to work this week. Oh, really? So, oh. It, yeah, because I took a long break actually. When I went to travel, I also stopped by KL for a bit, so I kind of have some work stuff to do in KL. It's a it's a, yeah, it's in KL. I it's kind of a my last minute decision to do something, and well, so I done it eventually. But oh no, it was good. I think. Oh, all right, all right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. what did you do in KL? I just had to send something to the laboratory for some recalibration with certain. Things. Oh, so, okay, so work stuff then. All yeah, right. yeah, it's it's really work stuff. So, but in the end, after after just dropping the things off, after that, it's just basically my time, just having fun and all this. I decided to stay at Charlie's place, <laughs> and yeah, yeah. So kind of help prepare some of the things with him. Ah, okay. Because I was there on, I was flying there on the fourth of April, so they yeah, have more prep time for me to do. I got a lot of free time until the sixth, in which. I fly to uh, Thailand. Then it's yeah, I fly I fly myself. So I reached there in the afternoon. Well, it was a bit of a derp story because I bought the ticket early and because of my last minute decision, I had to shift everything around. It was kind of a headache. <laughs> oh, you. Yeah, yeah, but in any oh, oh well, that end well. So <laughs> that's good, I think. All right, all right. I mean, at least uh, it's doing pretty well. I think it's doing pretty well. So anyway, um, anything else? Well, one thing I can say, I 
at least have a lot of, talking about the convention and all, we have a lot of fun. I mean, the Michelle Krieber's panel was quite a bit of derp, to be honest, sadly. And, well, Daniel, Daniel doing his usual, uh, Sea Ponycon trip. Well, he released his trailer and also doing the panel and all this uh, at the convention and also the, uh, Montre, uh, Periody MG is helping with the, what you call it, translation. So it was fun. I mean, I think of all the things that I could say about the convention was, I think I could say this, uh, the top secret panel is really worth it, to be honest. <laughs> oh, do you. <laughs> well, they, they call it top secret panel, but when they review it, it was like, top secret panel. Wow. Yeah, they call it top secret, but it's, uh... but it's actually, yeah, top it's like, <laughs> Yeah, it's really top secret, but well, I guess I could talk about it. No, 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 no. no yeah. I, I think um, Thai Pony Con got their thing um, took down for a bit for a reason. So nah, yes, yes. I'm not gonna talk yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah, better not. Yeah, yeah. But I know one thing to say. Uh, just wait for the movie to release. Uh, is all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, let's see. As for me, what have I been doing with my week? You know what? Uh, it's rare for me to say that I haven't had a week where something new happened. Like, um, judging from what I've been doing this week, it's just basically the same. Uh, play a bit of Payday, play a bit of Overwatch, read a few fan fictions, and that's about it. Besides, I'm watching the new episode and reading some of the recently released Pony comics. Um, and nothing new really. I mean, uh, what, what, what have I been really doing? Oh wow. Um, nothing new and exciting that has been entertaining me. Um, well, uh, if, if I have to force it out somehow, um, I, I think I recently subscribed to a channel called Linus Tech Tips. And oh, <laughs> you follow him now. <laughs> yeah, because uh, the thing is, I've been watching and watching and watching. You know what? Okay, since I'm watching a lot of you guys, I might as well sub. And yeah, um, they have been. Uh, sorry, um, I I think I should really explain what they're what they do. Um, Linus Tech Tips are a YouTube a creative media company. That and also their uh, YouTube channel talking about everything and anything. Technology. Tech, really? Yeah. So basically, yep. they're talking about the latest tech news, um, processors from AMD and whatnot, and the latest graphics card. And since I'm interested in looking for something new, so I might as well take a look, see, and, you know, just do a bit of research. And their videos are entertaining and fun. I mean, some people might not agree, but yeah, I find them fun. So, yeah. They post a lot of benchmark. Which is useful. True, true. And also a lot of, uh, what you call debunking some, I don't know, some ideologies behind certain, uh, technology, uh, certain ways that the company is advertising with their results and all this thing. Yeah. So I it's good. That. I remember that. Uh, but still, yeah. um, it is fun. So yeah, why not? I, I do like when they post crazy gadgets like, oh, cheap gaming mouse or keyboards that are, Cheap and whatnot, like, mm, okay, let's see what you can do. <laughs> Those are fun to watch. So I think, um, besides that, uh, there's nothing really. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbstrangemail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show. As for me, I'm at Norman Sanzo. And Star, where can the people find you? <clears throat> they can find me on my DeviantArt. Uh, Angelicore XX on my DeviantArt where I post pictures of my plushies. Ah, uh, alright. Ooh, talking about the plush. Have you seen the Big Mac plush? Yes, I saw it. And yes, I got it. <laughs> I tried to get it. Uh, well, it was a, it was a dirt because I, like I said before, I just don't like the new online trend checkout. And it's been giving a lot of people headache and all these things. So, and I had to call the guest services and ask them to Send me the details and all this. Ugh. Oh wow! Big hassle. You're not the only. Yeah, one I had to then. call them. No, I'm not the only one. Oh god, <laughs> just don't let the new check out. But if they have arrived in Australia, it makes it easier because you could just place it in Australia and just ship it to me directly. Mm. Now I have to send it to my friend. Oh wow! <sighs> but dang it. 
uh, that's going to be annoying. But still, uh, there's something. And have you seen the Sea Pony plush? Yes, I've seen it. Interested in getting them? Very cute. No. No, I right? <laughs> No. <laughs> Alrighty then. So anyway, and also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyValive.com. Uh, links are in the show notes. And also please subscribe to our latest endeavor, the MBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast, available on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Links are in the show notes. And in that series of shows, you get to see me... Silver Quill and Sapphire Heart Song talk about the pony episodes, movies, comics, and other things like Duckwing Duck comics and movies that are not related to ponies like Batman the Killing Joke. And one day maybe we'll talk about Kung Pao, Enter the Fist. <laughs> uh, that is a movie I really, really want to do. And sometimes... Uh, people can request us things that we don't usually do. Uh, for example, uh, that was the Darkwing Duck and Duck Tales crossover comic. And that was all thanks to Patreon. And talking about Patreon, you guys can support the show by supporting us via Patreon. A dollar will get you a thank you. Five dollars will get you a slot for a suggestion for what we should talk about. Maybe it, um, character development, uh, series that you want us to talk about, or whatever you have in mind. And, well, that's about it for now. And talking about the thank yous, um, I would like to thank Darker Cat, Twilight Genesis, Nindragatorius, Starstream, and also Master of Lag. Thank you so much for the support, guys. You have been Awesome supporters. And it's been a pleasure. It, and I, I'll be doing some of your topics soon enough. Um, let me see. I think I've done all three of the $5 tiers for now. Um, Nemdrakotorius, your second one will be coming soon enough. Um, Silver Quill is on vacation. Well, not really vacation. He's just been to con, so we haven't been well, discussing on what should we do next. That's probably something to discuss. But still, um, that's on the planning board. Soon enough, soon enough. So anyway, I have been Norman Santo. And this is Starstream. And we'll guys see you next week with another fun episode of the MBS Show. See ya! See ya! See ya.